Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Takiti and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing horoscope readings for the month of September 2019 and this is for Aries. Now that can apply to Aries sun, moon or rising and I also recommend that you watch your sun, moon and rising sign videos as well. So, you know, it may fluctuate from month to month or from period to period of time whether you resonate more with your rising sign, your moon sign, or your sun sign. So let's jump into the reading. We're going to do the monthly spread as per usual, but I'm doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to shuffle normally, but then I'm just going to cut the deck and pull the cards off the top. That's what I've been guided to do for this month's readings. So Aries, um, when I was tuning into your energy, I heard the term, the proof is in the pudding. So <laughs> let's see what comes out of the cards here. Okay, so Aries, your current self, hanged man in reverse, theme of the month, death in reverse, key goal is the ace of pentacles, the obstacle to overcome is the three of cups, the major accomplishment, ace of cups, what to avoid, nine of pentacles, what to embrace, four of swords, where to find support, Queen of Cups and advice and encouragement is the devil. Okay, so the hanged man is coming up as your current self. Now, this can indicate that you're coming out of a period where you felt restricted in some way or you felt like you had to sacrifice something. You may have also felt um, that you were kind of in this period of time where you couldn't really do anything. You felt stuck. But this actually gave you an opportunity to see the what's happening in your life from a different perspective. So it's giving you the opportunity to be able to move forward now, coming to the conclusions that you found in that period of stagnation, but it, it's, it's more so just a pause. So in the month of September, you may see yourself um, having sort of a period of rebirth and moving into new cycles quite naturally. So the theme of the month is death in reverse. So this really speaks to me of rebirth. So the hanged man in the reverse as well, being about action and um, moving forward with what you have found, basically, what you found in that period of August um, and how you can apply that moving forward into your rebirth. So you may have been, you may have been asked to sacrifice something with the death card and the hanged man in reverse. You may have had to sacrifice something in the months prior to this. And now moving forward, you have the opportunity to manifest abundance and walk through this gateway or this portal into this new opportunity and new beginning. So the key goal here is to grab onto opportunities when they present themselves to you. Because the Ace of Pentacles, when it comes around, it will uh, bring you opportunity in the form of money or physical opportunities as it relates to career, finances, or something that you wanted to manifest or that you've been trying to manifest for a while. But the thing is that with the Ace is you do have to take action and that's where that hangman is coming in as well. So it's taking action in the direction that you want. So if an opportunity presents itself, it can come in the form of an idea or an inspiration of some kind or somebody telling you something, you still have to act on it. You can't just sit there and wait for it to come to you because it is being presented, but you have to be the one to take it and do something with it. So the obstacle to overcome here is the three of cups. There may be some there may be some hesitation around working with other people. There seems to be sort of a solitary energy here and especially after a period of um, you know a little bit of reclusion almost or seclusion that's kind of what's coming through. There may be a little bit of a fear of, of really reuniting with people and moving forward, and that is an obstacle to overcome. Or it could be something that you really want, but it's not necessarily coming to fruition. Now, if I see this Three of Cups in a different sense, um, and keep in mind, you know, these are general readings, so not everything is going to apply to everybody, but I like to give as many different scenarios as I can, you know, as I can see. But the, the Three of Cups as an obstacle can also be about overindulgence and specifically around drinking or, you know, using mind-altering substances in some sense. So this 
being an obstacle. It could be something that is not serving you in where you'd like to go move into opportunity wise. And, you know, it's kind of detrimental in the long run. So this may be the death that is occurring here and the rebirth. You're giving the opportunity to put down those old things that really don't work for you. And especially with the devil here, it's, you know, it's kind of like these indulgences or these addictions that really don't, don't serve you at all. And so the major accomplishment is the Ace of Cups. And this is a whole different kind of a cup, you know, like you've got cups here that we're drinking and then you've got the Ace of Cups, which is about emotional fulfillment. So you have two aces and the death card in reverse. This really speaks to me of new beginnings and not necessarily even beginnings that are founded in any other old cycle. These are brand new. And this is opportunity for you to find emotional and financial stability, security and fulfillment through the embarkment on this journey and into this this new um, this new opportunity for you in your life. So what to avoid is the nine of pentacles. And so this is again this really speaks about being secluded. I'm surprised that the hermit card isn't in this reading because it's got that very hermit energy. You may have been in a period where you were stuck, um, feeling a little bit trapped in some way. And so you may have subconsciously or consciously separated yourself from people around you. And that, again, it's what to avoid is secluding yourself and, and locking yourself away. And it's also uh, another message that's coming through for the Nine of Pentacles here is not to get too comfortable um, in what you have at the moment. Not to say that it's going to be taken away, but, you know, it's about constantly moving forward. It's not necessarily, there are times and places to stop and smell the roses and really enjoy what you were able to manifest, but you are not in that period of your cycle right now. So right now it's more about um, continuing to move forward rather than stopping and enjoying where you're at. So, you know, there's a time and a place for everything and everything has its purpose. So that's not to say that you won't get to that nine of pentacles energy where you're able to stop and enjoy the bounty of your of your harvest and all of these things that have um, come to you through the form of opportunities. But the thing is, is that you don't plant the seed and enjoy the fruit on the same day. So again, this comes back to the cycle and where you're at in that cycle. So just honor that process and know that this is a time to take action, to um, grab onto those opportunities when they present themselves and to move forward. So what to embrace is the four of swords. And this is that sort of hermit energy there. So I guess it is sort of here anyways, but the Hermit is more like the major version of it. But the Four of Swords is about rest, rejuvenation, and, me and meditation. I feel like, especially with the Hanged Man, that was where you were at in the past little while, um, whether mentally or physically. You may have had to rest from some kind of a physical trauma, illness, um, or this could be mental where it's like just rebalancing the way that you're thinking and especially with the hanged man It's giving you the opportunity to think in new ways so that you can you know move forward with these realizations that you've come to no longer being stuck in old patterns and, and rather freeing yourself from what really wasn't working for you so This is what to embrace. I feel like you have embraced this you can continue to embrace this um, you know it, it really fluctuates between taking time to rest and care for yourself and then taking action. And it's about intuitively knowing when to do that, feeling the guidance from within yourself and when an opportunity presents itself, knowing that, um, you know, that's the time to take action. And then when you're feeling a little bit unsure, that's the time to rest and to meditate on it. So if, especially if opportunities are presenting themselves like multiple different opportunities, then it's going to be really um, beneficial to embrace meditation so that you can discern which one is going to be best for you in the long run. Um, and through you can do that through your intuition with the, with the Queen of Cups here. This is what's supporting you 
in this month and moving forward is being able to connect to your sensitivity, your emotional connectivity, and your psychic abilities. So this is really utilizing your intuition through meditation to be able to guide you. In, like This is intuitive living at its finest. It's guiding you in what to eat. It's guiding you in you know who to surround yourself with. It's guiding you in what you should do with your life. And it's also guiding you on what things you need to cut out. So listening to your intuition is so, so beneficial and so underrated for everything in life, everything in, in your daily life from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, you should be practicing using your intuition to decipher what's going to be best for you at a soul level, because that's really what your intuition is guiding you towards. It's not, it's not what's going to be good for you. Um, you know, right here and right now in the physical, it may be that, but if, if, if what you want right here and right now is not good for you at a soul level, your intuition will tell you <laughs> and you will not do that. So, uh, or hopefully you won't, you know, we have free will, so you can choose to not listen. <laughs> it's totally up to you. But I got to tell you from my own experience, every time that I have not listened to my intuition, I have regretted it. <laughs> and every time that I have, I have seen the benefits, um, both short and long term. So I highly recommend, <laughs> you know, personally, from my own experience, to to do this, to employ this inner GPS that you have. That way you don't continue to get lost or feel stuck or feel trapped. So this is really moving you forward and you have a lot of opportunity this month. So congratulations, Aries. This is looking like a pretty good month for you overall. Um, so long as you sort of tame your baser instincts, learn to listen to your intuition rather than what your your immediate ego or your, um, you know, your shadow, sh shadow, <laughs> shadow, shadow self might want. So decipher between those two discern what is going to be best for you and then move forward from that place you know letting go of the things and sacrificing the things that really aren't good for you in the long run and you know this and putting effort time and energy into things that are beneficial for you with these new opportunities and things that will bring fulfillment on all levels all right, guys, so that is your reading for the month of September. Keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you were called to watch this video, um, it can resonate for you, and also if it doesn't resonate right now, it may resonate going forward, and so I always recommend coming back and watching these at the end of the month. That way you can kind of see how the energy played out. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me um, or a Reiki healing session, all of the information will be in the description box below with the updated September prices. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you, and I hope you have an amazing September. Bye.